special edition of LifeWave Connect, where we're going to be talking about the aromatherapy mist, uh, Shine and Dream. They just launched about 24 hours ago. We're already seeing amazing things. Uh, most importantly, though, I am joined by LifeWave CEO, founder, and uh, inventor, David Schmidt. He, um, he, of course, invented this technology, and we're so excited to invite him here on the call to be able to share this. David, are you with us today? Hey, Jeff. Great to see you. It's so good to see you, too. Um, well, we've got an action-packed webinar here, I know, but uh, first of all, how, how are you? How's everything going? Things are amazing. Uh, you know, first... For all of our uh, members in the United States, I want to take the moment to wish them a uh, happy Thanksgiving. And for all of our members uh, around the world, I want to take this opportunity to thank everyone for an amazing 2022. Uh, we have so much to be thankful for and grateful for. This has been uh, the best year that we've ever had. And uh, of course, we're introducing uh, new products today that we're going to talk about. And uh, something that I'm really proud of with our community is that because of our success, we were able to donate money and give back to uh, organizations all over the world in uh, Japan, Germany, uh, Poland, Romania, uh, of course, here in the United States to organizations like UNICEF, Red Cross. Uh, we're able to donate money and uh, help those in need. And uh, that, that's just such an important part of who we are, is being able to take our success and uh, and give back. Um, and of course, uh, we're going to continue with that in some very big ways. Anybody that was at the August convention uh, knows what's ahead with humanitarian aid. So uh, yeah, I think it, it's just a great time of year to be thankful and uh, give thanks and appreciation to our community. Oh, that's amazing. I'll echo that with you. Um, just the gratitude for the community. It's been an amazing, amazing um, journey for me to be a part of this family as well and to get to know so many individuals and 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 people. And 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 David, what a what a point of pride, you know, to be a part of a company that uh that gives back and that uh, really is focused on helping others. Now, I was just looking a little bit, and uh, yesterday, we were just talking for this, yesterday was a phenomenal sales day. Of course, we had you know the kickoff of Black Friday, but we also have the um the the this miss launched yesterday and i was just looking at some of the numbers and guess what they're not buying the dream individually and they're not buying the shine individually but everybody is buying the bundle which is exactly how you should do it because the combined effects of these two products together is just phenomenal so what i'd love to do is maybe just start out and uh could you just give us an introduction to these products and maybe kind of give us an an overview of of what they do and uh, maybe share a little bit, even some of the presentation maybe you shared at a convention for everyone. Yeah, yeah, I'd be happy to do that. Let's go through that. And I'll spend just a little bit of time on it because we have so much to talk about. And uh, I know we both want to get to um, any questions that our members have. So let's go ahead and uh, and start with that then. Okay, so... One of the reasons why we're introducing these sprays is because they complement the effects of X39 and X49 and our other patches. So the intention here is to keep X39 at center stage. It's our flagship product, and it's what you should be leading with. Uh, we would want anyone new that's coming into the business, whether or not they're a, a brand partner or they're a customer, to start with X39 first. But when we're looking at product development and what new types of products uh, to introduce, they have to be consistent with our existing product line meaning we want to look at things that complement the activity of stem cells in the body. And then, of course, our ultimate goal of stopping and reversing human aging. So we look at any new products through that lens. So first, let's take a look at X39 so we can better understand how the sprays are going to complement X39. Uh, first thing, we know the patches work with light. They stimulate the skin with low levels of light to elevate copper peptide. 
One of the benefits of copper peptide is that it resets genes to a more youthful state. So that's actually the most beneficial effect of copper peptide. And in the process, uh, genes are activated uh, to do two things. Uh, number one, stem cells are mobilized. So this can improve the rate at which the body heals naturally. And secondly, those stem cells are gonna act like younger, healthier cells. So that's a really important uh, mechanism in X39. Uh, we also see improvements in energy metabolism. Uh, I'm Jeff, I'm gonna be covering this in quite a bit of detail at our uh, NOVA conference in January, our online conference. I'll be talking a lot about the information systems in the body and how that all works and how people can benefit from it. Very important to understand. Uh, but needless to say, unless our cells are making energy, nothing else happens. So uh, X39 helps to improve the way the body metabolizes energy. Uh, very importantly, copper peptide is going to support uh, the natural management of inflammation in the body. So as we age, our ability to control inflammatory markers declines. And uh, there's even a term for this, which is associated with a natural increase in inflammation over time. Uh, it's really nothing natural um, in the sense that it's not healthy. So we want to be in a more youthful state because elevated levels of inflammation over time can damage healthy tissue. So copper peptide is a way that we can keep inflammatory markers under control. And of course, uh, this is going to help with pain relief and improve mobility. Uh, one of the things that was first noticed about this wellness product when we released it is that it helps people recover from exercise, does a great job with that. Uh, but of course, we know that X49 is unbelievable <clears throat> when it comes to supporting recovery. Uh, but we will see some benefits with X39. And as a general wellness product, as you can guess, this will support overall health and well being. So people have more energy during the day, they sleep better, they recover faster, and uh, they heal much more consistently as when they did when they were younger. So if we look at all these benefits of X39, we might say, well, what could we do to complement that and improve people's experience? There's actually a few things. Uh, we also wanna look at how this can complement other patches because we don't want to introduce products that have the same benefits. That wouldn't make sense. So the sprays are going to have benefits that are different than X39, X49, and our other patches. We also want to introduce new technology. So you will not find these sprays anyplace else. Uh, they're currently patent pending. And this is a new category of product. We have these regulated as aromatherapy products, but they're actually a different technology. They're not traditional aromatherapy. So let's look at hormone balancing. One thing that's very interesting is that the activity of the stem cells in the body are going to be dependent upon the hormones in your body. Not surprisingly, as we age and levels of growth hormone decrease, levels of testosterone and estrogen change, that's going to have an adverse effect on the stem cell activity. So there's some studies where you can see direct correlation between testosterone levels and stem cell activity. So if we were going to look for a way to naturally balance hormones or more properly 
restore the body's hormones levels as we age. So let's say you're over the age of 50 uh, and you've seen changes in your hormones. What are your options? Well, you can go with a synthetic drug or bioidenticals. You can try to manage it naturally with herbs and diet, or you can simply do nothing and let aging take its course. Uh, each of these approaches has its pluses and minuses. So we always wanna do things in a natural way. If we were to look at herbs that have been used traditionally to improve the hormone profile in the body, what's their limitation? Why do people use drugs if there's herbs that are available? Well, the answer is really simple. They don't go directly into the blood. So if you were to take a uh, oral supplement, they could either be broken down uh, in the uh, stomach or the gut, uh, or uh, they could cause problems with the liver. So there's some issues with oral supplements. Now let's look at something that occurs in nature that might be relatively interesting. This is what's called a biomimetic approach, meaning we look to nature for a solution, something that's gonna be in harmony with our bodies. And then we can develop technology around that. So we're gonna look at truffles. Um, and we're gonna look at specifically, not chocolate truffles, but the truffles that are uh, fungus and that grow on the roots of trees. Uh, one thing we know is that truffles are extremely expensive. They can sell for anywhere from 2,000 to 6,000 US dollars per pound. And because they grow on the roots of trees, uh, there have been many attempts to cultivate truffles uh, in the lab, but with not very much success. So it was discovered, uh, this is where the term truffle pig comes from, that pigs will naturally seek out truffles. And they're used to locate truffles in the wild. And uh, this is rather interesting. You probably know uh, that pigs are used for biomedical research. Um, I don't particularly care for that as an animal lover, uh, but it's because that the hormone system and the immune system of, of pigs are nearly identical to human beings along with other things. So why are pigs searching out truffles in the wild, right? And how is it that they can locate truffles by their scent? Anyone that's ever had uh, black or white truffles shaved over pasta knows they have a magnificent aroma. And this is a great example of how we can study nature and uh, do things in harmony with nature. So here's what's interesting. It turns out that truffles contain testosterone, the same testosterone that's in our bodies, whether or not you're a man or a woman. And what's interesting, this is a process called olfaction, is that when you inhale a truffle, the scent of the truffle, um, this elevates testosterone levels. So these pigs are using the scent of the truffle as a natural aphrodisiac. That's why, that's why they're seeking them out. They're getting a nice boost in testosterone and uh, that helps in their mating. I don't think I have to say anything else. I think everybody else knows what that means. So let's look at this scientifically. And uh, in fact, absolutely what we find out is that uh, not only do truffles contain testosterone, uh, but they are a natural aphrodisiac. And uh, there have been, and there's other hormones in truffles as well. So clinically, we can see that there is an effect uh, on the human body when you consume truffles. Using natural truffles, though, is way too expensive, right? So we don't want to have a product 
that is out of reach. Um, and cultivating truffles in the lab has been very challenging and uh, often results can't be duplicated. So what else could we do? Uh, are there other natural materials that we could use? And also if truffles contain testosterone, what else could we do to optimize these effects? Because uh, there's an interesting proposition here where we could develop potentially a line of products to do different things, like having anti-aging results. Uh, but of course, we picked uh, Shine and Dream as starting points. And of course, we want these products to work on both men and women. Uh, women obviously need testosterone just like men, but they have different needs. So men and women have both need estrogen, women have different needs than men. Both men and women have needs for uh, growth hormone. Again, those needs are a little bit different. So let's talk about how we're gonna do this with our aromatherapy mists. So shine is intended to be used during the day and dream at night, and they're incredibly easy to use. So, the first place that I started with this uh, was to put the ingredients that are in these products into a novel energized water. And I'm gonna show you some images of this water in a moment uh, that you'll really find interesting. And this is to improve the efficiency. So in other words, the purpose of the energized water is to allow the ingredients to go to work right away. So you'll have an experience the very first day with these products. And as you continue to use them, you'll see the benefits improve. We use two different types of active materials. Uh, the first is a complex of herbs, and there's a complex of herbs in Shine and Dream. And then we also use a blend of essential oils. So the essential oils are there to not only provide a pleasant scent, uh, but they're also there to support the activity of the herbal complex. So these things work together in a very uh, unique way, and they're put into the cells with the energized water. So by the way, what is an energized water? Well, it's a water that has a structure. And you'll see this with some ice samples that we have. But most water is chaotic and it is in a disorganized state. When we structure the water, the water becomes highly ordered, highly structured, and the surface tension of the water decreases. So when that happens, it allows the water to act as a carrier and more easily penetrate the cell membrane, allowing the actives to get into the cell where they're needed. So what kind of benefits, right? Every product has to have a benefit. What kind of benefits can you experience with Shine and Dream? Well, first let's talk about the official claims. Um, with Shine, it's designed to be applied in the morning, uh, you could also apply it again during the day if you wish, uh, such as before you exercise. And it's going to improve your overall energy and wellness. Uh, it has a aroma uh, that is invigorating and wakes you up. And it helps to provide uh, focus and energy throughout the day. Um, I personally love to use Shine before a workout. And uh, for those of you that like to exercise, which I hope is all of you, um, try uh, spraying with shine before a workout and then not, and you'll see a difference in your energy and performance. So in the shine product, uh, we have three herbs, uh, pine pollen, tonkat ali, and polyrachis. And all of these herbs are good for both men and women, uh, but in different ways. We put this into a blend of pine oil, 
spruce oil, ginger oil, and sage oil. And these oils complement the function of the herbs. Now, what do these two things do together? We've already discussed elevating and balancing out testosterone levels in the body. We did some initial research on this, which was unbelievably exciting. Uh, we took a group of 15 people uh, and we measured, uh, we did one study with men and then another study with men and women. And uh, in men, we saw that just within three days, we could more than double their testosterone levels. Uh, it was about 85% or so of men within three days. Other men, uh, it took up to two weeks to elevate their testosterone. So this is very, very rapid. Uh, but that testosterone is only one part of the picture. We also see improvements in growth hormone. So benefit to that is tighter and firmer skin, improvement in lean muscle, reductions in body fat. So if you use these products for a few weeks, don't be surprised if you have a little less body fat around the waistline. We're not making a weight loss claim, of course. Very, very importantly, both the Shine and the Dream products are designed to improve oxytocin levels. Now, oxytocin is the hormone of love, and it's fantastic at reducing stress, and it is a bonding hormone. But when we're talking about age reversal and using these products with X39 and X49, oxytocin becomes invaluable. What happens is that when you elevate oxytocin, it resets the muscle fibers to a more youthful state. So in experiments that have been done, it's been shown that muscle fiber that's 70, 80 years old will go back to looking like it's 25 or 30 years old after elevating oxytocin. So now, not only do we have ways to improve lean muscle with X39 and X49, but now we can get that muscle tissue to be younger and healthier. So that's really exciting benefit. Now, the Dream product is a little bit different. And um, for those of you that have a problem sleeping, you will absolutely love using Dream. Uh, this is obviously encouraged, uh, designed to encourage rest and relaxation, and it has a very peaceful and soothing aroma. I would caution you, only use this at bedtime. Definitely don't use it before you're going to drive. Um, like the Shine product, it contains pine pollen and Tonkat Ali, but this also contains mucunipurines, which is a source of L-DOPA. And the essential oil complex is also different in the uh, in Dream. Sorry, it says Shine up there. It's supposed to say Dream. Uh, and the Dream product, again, is designed to provide relaxation. So it's very, very soothing. So uh, what you'll find is within 10 minutes or so of applying this, uh, your body will feel more relaxed and ready for sleep. By the way, applying Shine and Dream is incredibly easy. It only takes a few seconds. You spray it on the wrist, and then you inhale the scent deeply seven or eight times. You do the same thing, of course, with Dream applying it in the evening, spray it on the wrist, and then inhale deeply seven or eight times. That's all there is to do. It's that simple. So we're obviously in the uh, pre-launch phase now, and we're going to be going to the launch, the official launch in January in the United States and Europe. And then uh, as we get into 2023, we will be uh, expanding to other countries around the world. So, uh, Jeff, that's the overview. And um, I also have, um, of course, the pictures of our water samples that I'd like to share with our members as well. Well, I think I think we should go there. So that was uh, actually one of my questions is, 
as I've been hearing about this all, uh, you know, throughout the the months leading up to this, one thing that's always fascinated me fascinated me is this energized structured water base. So, um, can yeah, can you share a little bit more about that? Maybe show us those pictures. It, it really is incredible. And then and then what the benefit is, of course, of sure. having- Yeah. So the it's it's important to for our members to know why I'm doing this research. Um, my belief, my hypothesis is that the fountain of youth is actually a real thing, meaning that it's possible to create a type of water that produces a age reversal effect. How would we do that? Um, So these are the experiments that we've done in our lab uh, that I filed some patents on where we're creating a new form of water. And uh, testing water is extremely difficult. So a very simple test that I've been doing is taking water and freezing it to see what happens, you know, when the water freezes. So let's take a look at this. Okay, so this is uh, control. And uh, as we can see, everyone has seen ice. So we know what ice looks like. And uh, basically this is a uh, 100 mil beaker. It's filled up to 75 milliliters with water allowed to freeze over a period of time. And then um, you, you look and see what does it look like, right? So no surprises there. What happens with this water and I have some really incredible time-lapse photography on this. What happens is that as this water freezes, it begins to implode. And that's evidenced by these uh, water water crystal threads that begin to drive to the center of the beaker as it freezes we get some very unusual structures that appear depending on the frequencies that are used. And uh, the first one that I identified with the equipment uh, that I invented is this uh, vortex. So in other words, what's different about this water than regular water is that it contains energy. And as the water freezes, it releases the energy. Now, Uh, I have been working on a water machine for our company. And when you drink this water, which I've done, uh, and I connect myself up to some equipment like a biopulsar or a Menla scan, you can immediately see it's within one minute. The water is metabolized in the body and the energy gets released. And there's a massive increase in bioelectrical energy in the body. So At this point, the hypothesis is that that mechanism can be used to improve mitochondrial function, which will ultimately alter gene expression and turn the cells into younger, healthier cells. So uh, it's very exciting. Uh, When you look at the bottom of the beaker, you can actually see these spindles uh, or ice threads going towards the center, and you can also see that they're turned in a vortex type pattern. And we're looking up at this point into the vortex. And uh, on the left in the control is, you know, normal ice. So, you know, what's so exciting about this is, uh, this is one of the reasons why Shine and Dream are, are so different is because we're using energized water as a delivery system. But what's exciting is that we're gonna apply this technology in many different ways. I want our members to be able to have a water machine where they can drink this water. Uh, I want them to be able to have a product where they can grow fruits and vegetables and drink or consume uh, food that has grown in this energized water and get the benefits from that. So um, yeah, it's it's pretty exciting. Oh, sorry, Jeff, you're on mute. Well, of course I am. I just got too excited. <laughs> um, so we had a question come in um, that I wanted to share, and then and then maybe can because it was related to this specifically. Um, is there any uh, data on how long that structured water stays or energized water stays stable? Um, you know, is there any testing on that? 
Yeah. So, of course, in Shine and Dream, the way it's stabilized is with alcohol. So uh, there's alcohol in the product uh, that will stabilize it and also protect the integrity of the nutrients. Um, in our lab, what we've seen is that some of the water samples, they might take six, eight hours to freeze and they release their energy over that period of time. So when we come out with a water machine, um, there wouldn't be really any issue. You don't have to drink the water immediately. It's going to stay good, let's say, for at least an hour or longer. Um, yeah, so we haven't done any age testing on the water for any other length of period of time than that. But my suspicion is that because it's a new species of water, that it stays stable over a very long period of time. The questions are flying in. <laughs> I see that. I'm going to try my best to try to address some of these. But before we get to those, I, I had a few, uh, just a, a few questions as well. So one of the things that I think our members always love to hear, and one of the things that I love to hear is, what's the backstory on this? Kind of what's the history or what inspired you to work on these particular products? And and how did they, they come to be? Well, you know, uh, <laughs> that's an interesting question. You're you're right. You know, every product has its own backstory. When I developed the energy patches, it was because I was looking for a solution for the crew of submarines. When I was working on X39, it was because I saw stem cells as the future of health and medicine, and I wanted us to be a part of that. So uh, <laughs> with the sprays, I would say it's much more personal, uh, meaning I'm, I'm 59 years young uh, this year, which is always hard for me to wrap my arms around um, because in, in my telomere testing, uh, it shows that I'm my telomeres are at age 32. So I, I have a hard time balancing that. But um, what I have wanted to look at for many years now is how to keep my testosterone levels elevated uh, naturally and not and do it safely and not use any type of drugs. And um, there's really only one or two herbal products that work, but they're very, very limited. You might get 100 or 200 points increase in uh, testosterone. Um, and this is even not to mention hormones like DHEA. Uh, DHEA is the fountain of youth hormone, and there's a number of health disorders associated with declining DHEA. So um, so I, I had just kind of like a personal interest. I don't know if I was really interested in selling a product, but looking for a solution for myself. So uh, I came upon some research on uh, olfaction. And at first I thought ah, that this is going to be as it doesn't make sense. This is going to be a, a waste of time. And uh, but I looked at it and I thought, you know, I, I think there's really something to this. So I started to, with the limitations of truffles, I started to look at other sources, uh, naturally occurring ingredients that could set that could contain testosterone. And that's when I came upon pine pollen. But we use a very specific type of pine pollen, the pine pollen that you get out of Asia, which is most of the stuff that's on the market. Um, most of it is inert. So we had to seek out a legitimate source of pine pollen that would have the correct hormone profile. So that, that was all part of the research. Then the other thing was, how do you, how do you go about and complement this? And uh, you know how far can we really take it? And I began to, when I started looking at the mechanism of action, it it became obvious that this could be an entire product line where we're solving health problems for people through this mechanism, and they can complement the patches. So it started from my own personal need uh, and desire to keep my testosterone levels elevated. And uh, by the way, they went from being in the three hundreds to being over 700. Uh, so I was super excited about that. That's incredible. I'm I'm trying to keep up with the questions here. Now, I know, David, typically on these calls, we, we make sure and give our disclaimer, you know, around uh, we don't treat or prevent diseases and things, but there are a lot of questions around, you know, the interaction 
you know, with those maybe who have forms of cancer, so they need to block hormones, those types of things. You know, uh, can you talk a little bit about maybe, uh, you know, our, our stance on that and, and, and maybe in whatever answer you'd like to give? Sure. So uh, first, I'm not a medical doctor. And so we don't give medical advice or uh, anything along those lines. So if someone has a, a health condition, serious medical condition, they should speak with their healthcare practitioner before using these products uh, to make sure that it's okay for them. Um, a good example would be with men that have normal age-related uh, inflammation of the prostate. Um, most medical doctors will say that if you increase your testosterone, that that could be a problem for something like prostate cancer, or it's a risk for men with elevated PSA. I don't personally agree with that because if that were true, then every 17 year old man would be getting prostate cancer, uh, which, the, which they don't. And I did have the opportunity of speaking with, um, back in the day, uh, not quite a few years ago, Dr. Dr. Abe Morgenfaller over at Harvard about this. And his position was testosterone does not aggravate uh, prostate cancer, no effect at all. Uh, but in any case, most medical doctors are trained the other way. So this is all to say, if, if someone is concerned about that, they should, even though these are natural products, they should definitely ask their doctor. And I imagine that uh, very similarly, anyone who is currently on, you know, any sort of hormone boosting medicine or, you know, supplement, um, is there any any thoughts there in terms of the interactions or the relationship there? Sure. I mean, there's plenty of people that are on bioidenticals and hormone replacement therapy. Uh, they should be speaking with their doctor about this product and saying, hey, uh, this product is designed to help balance out my hormones. Can I use it with my medication? So that's really a very personal decision. Uh, we don't have a clinical study to assess what the interaction might be. So we really don't know. Uh, it might be possible for someone to use these products and get off the pharmaceuticals, uh, but that's you know pure speculation. So uh, yeah, these are things that someone should discuss with their doctor. Okay, perfect, perfect. Uh, so in terms of usage, I'm seeing a couple questions come in around, you know, uh, does it have to be on the wrist? I know that's the instructions we use on the package, and, and we we typically recommend to stay within the. Uh, instructed use because typically that's what was used when you know when testing occurred but let's say that somebody says well you know rather than spraying it on my skin can i spray it on my pillow can i spray it on a different part um what are your thoughts or recommendations in that yeah. regard so if someone uh now so keep in mind that the product has a significant amount of alcohol and so that's so the actives get into the air and you can inhale it so you don't want to get the spray anywhere near your eyes. So that was the thought behind the wrist is you're spraying it away from the body. So there's no risk of getting it in the eyes. So that would be one thing. Um, secondly, the only reason to use the wrist was out of convenience, right? It's easy to spray it on and then inhale uh, the scent. So that was just for convenience. Um, if someone wanted to spray it on their neck, for example, and inhale it off of that, that's a possibility. Um, I suppose if they wanted to spray it on their pillow, they could do that. I don't necessarily see an issue why they couldn't. The important thing is that uh, because you want to inhale the scent, whatever is a convenient method for, for doing that, as long as you don't get it near the eyes uh, and you want to inhale uh, you know, seven or eight times deeply. Perfect. Now, some other questions coming in are around the effects on men versus women. You know, so you may have a, a woman who says, you know, do I, I don't want to boost testosterone or a man who maybe, you know, with estrogen. Is is there anything you can uh, share about the interaction specifically around uh, male and fem female using these products? Yeah. Uh, all of the ingredients that are in both products are good for both men and women. So the other thing about these products is that they're going to, like the patches, they're going to induce the body to elevate each of these hormones or balance out the hormones. So over time, of course, we're going to see a, a decrease 
in growth hormone from both men and women, the levels are going to be different. Testosterone, of course, is dramatically different. Uh, you might have in women uh, 30 nanograms uh, per deciliter, where it is in men, you know, it could be 300, 700 nanograms. So, um, but the sprays are going to help uh, bring those levels back into balance. This isn't like a drug that is going to uh, artificially increase the levels above where they're supposed to be. You know, that's that's where people get into trouble. And is there any particular age range on these products that you would say, you know, this is really the, the age to focus on these or don't use it if you're, if you're these ages? Yeah, because these are designed to be anti-aging products and restoring hormone levels, um, anyone that's over the age of 30 is a potential candidate. Uh, when people get over the age of 40, uh, you know, that's usually when they start to feel, uh, depending on how good of health they're in, that's when they start to feel some of these uh, unwanted hormone changes and they would be great candidates for these products. So uh, just a personal experience. So um, my wife, I took some of these Shine and Dream home uh, right before I left for Costa Rica and I left them on the counter um, in the bathroom and she texted me day one and she said, well, can I start using these? And I said, well, you know, sure, I'm I'm gone for, you know, a week and a half, go ahead and use them. And she started using them and I'd kind of forgotten about it, but I came home and I saw them and I said, well, what did you experience? And she goes, oh my gosh, I, I feel more energy. I feel more vitality. I feel more life. And she goes, but that, that sleep one, you got to be careful because she said, once you spray it, it's, it works pretty, pretty quickly. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's funny, you know, uh, when I was developing, uh, it, we, as you know, we gave out samples like uh, 1500 uh, samples of the dream product and shine product at convention in August. And uh, when I was in development of that, you know, I'd be making, you know, 30, 50 bottles at a time and sharing with people to get their feedback. And uh, I, one Saturday I was in the lab and I was making the dream product and experimenting with the formula. And I wanted to see if the scent was okay. And I kept inhaling the scent. And so I got home that night and I was supposed to have dinner with my kids. And I was like, yeah, I, I just, I need to lay down. I feel exhausted. I, you know, I must've worked too hard today. I don't know. It was so odd. And I went to sleep at six o'clock and I woke up like six o'clock the next morning. I couldn't, I overdid it. <laughs> um, so that, that was, uh, yeah, that was fun during that development. But to your point, um, yeah, usually within 10 minutes of applying dream, people can start to feel the body calming down and relaxing and uh, getting, a, when they wake up, they'll have a very deep sleep. So in terms of, you know, the dream, obviously uh, you can feel some of those effects immediately. What other effects might someone expect to feel when using the combination of these two products? Um, you know, and, and how long might they, those effects take to, to manifest? And are there things that are more short-term and things that are more long-term? Yeah. When we're looking at anti-aging products, the ideal scenario is to see effects immediately and then have long-term benefits. Uh, these should be lifestyle products. So the, the sh very short-term benefits within the first day, uh, people will notice improvements in their energy from using Shine. And uh, even the first day, people will notice that they get to sleep right away with Dream. And when they wake up in the morning, it may be a little reminiscent of when they were a child, that they're they're sleepy and it takes them a while, you know, to wake up. Um, so those are things that happen with many people the very first day. Um, when we're talking about balancing hormones, if we do that with a pharmaceutical, it can take months to align the hormones. So one of the things that was exciting about this, because it's a natural product, we, we saw people's hormone levels coming up uh, in as little as three days uh, and no more than two weeks into the testing. And uh, in the very first test, when the product was still being refined, uh, even back then it was 14 out of 15 people had statistically significant improvements in their hormone profile. So 
most people are going to see improvements in the first three days. And then within about three weeks or so, a very consistent feedback is people are stronger, they're sleeping better, they have they're losing body fat around the waist. That's been the most, to me, that's been the most remarkable thing is how many people have said, hey, I noticed after three weeks that I'm losing weight, but it's all coming off the waist. Um, there's a mechanism for that, but anyway, we won't get into it now. Uh, but that's something that consistently has been reported. You know, someone mentioned, and I know this isn't a sleep aid necessarily, but you know, a lot with a lot of the sleep products that you have out there today, there's some element potentially of, being addictive, um, you know, this being a product that helps kind of set you in that state of peace and rest. Is there, is there any, uh, uh, you know, addictive qualities to this product that you would anticipate or can somebody use it without that concern? No, there's nothing addictive with this, right? So we're, we're not tripping any centers in the brain uh, where somebody would, uh, this would be creating a dependency. That's just really outside the scope of most uh, herbal products and essential oils. So like taking a vitamin or an herbal supplement, uh, when people stop using them, the effects go away, right? The benefits go away. Uh, but other than that, there, there's not going to be any type of dependency. Good. So one thing that I've been really curious about, um, you mentioned it uh, kind of briefly in the presentation, but can you speak a little bit more about this element of, you know, potentially using it in combination with exercise and maybe some of the benefits there and and maybe some of the mechanisms of why that benefits somebody who's using it in, in, in combination with exercise? Yeah. So as you know, we talked a lot about this at August convention and the patches and the sprays are wonderful aids. They are not going to be a replacement for proper diet, proper sleep, and exercise. So uh, what we really want to encourage people to do is have a lifestyle where they have a plan. And uh, you know, maybe people want to lose an extra five or 10 pounds, maybe you want to get a little stronger, whatever you know the goal is, but have a plan where you're really thinking about your day of when are you going to exercise, when uh, are you going to start eating? What type of diet are you following? Are you going to have, you know, high protein, low carbohydrate? You're doing a blood type diet, ketogenic, you know, what are you doing? Get your hydration and then make sure you're getting, let's say at least seven hours of sleep uh, and getting all your nutrition. So a, having a plan for a strong foundation is incredibly important. That way, when you use products like this or patches or our sprays, then people can get the most benefit out of it. So let's use an example. Mm -hmm. You go to the gym. So I've known many bodybuilders uh, and many athletes over the years that have used our products. So uh, with bodybuilders, what they'll say is that if someone is not building muscle, it's almost always that they're not eating enough. And most of us don't want to be bodybuilders. We just want to be in you know, we want to be fit, right? So the lesson though here to be to learn is that if you're exercising and you're not seeing your body change, well, maybe you're not getting enough protein. Maybe you're not getting your, your essential fatty acids. Maybe you're consuming too much sugar, you know, whatever the case may be. Uh, so if you're going to use the sprays uh, and use the patches, our clinical studies show that this does in fact promote loss of body fat and increase in lean muscle. But why stop there? You know, why not get a healthy diet? Why not exercise the right way so you can get the best possible results? Yeah, you know, it's interesting. Uh, you, you've talked about this on, you know, several of these webinars now, but just this idea of just a holistic, healthy lifestyle. And there's a lot of things the in combination, getting the right amount of sleep and water and nutrition and those types of things. Um, you know, some of the questions coming in are specifically, I mean, you've talked about that generally with, with each of each of our webinars. Is there anything specific to these products that you would say, hey, this will really help to enhance the benefits, whether that be, you know, supplementation beyond this, or whether that be, you know, again, you just mentioned exercise is one of those things. Is there anything else that you you think would really help to complement them? So first I would start with diet and um, 
make sure that you're getting enough protein and getting enough healthy fats. Um, carbohydrates are interesting. People can live without carbohydrates. They're not really essential. And uh, make sure that, uh, I would want people to make sure that they're getting all of their vitamins and minerals and supplement where necessary. Um, that might be additional magnesium, might be additional potassium, since most of the population has those deficiencies. I've been looking at some very interesting research uh, lately. This was uh, pioneered by Dr. Uh, Matthias Rath, and uh, it's looking at cancer, actually. And uh, he came up with a formula to prevent cancer cells from metastasizing uh, to contain them. And that's an interesting mechanism. So he was looking at these uh, collagen inhibitors. But it's it's interesting from an age reversal per, uh, perspective because um, we, we look at what amino acids could potentially complement the formation of uh, collagen. So this is, and that benefits everybody. So like one amino acid, for example, would be lysine, supports immune function, supports collagen. Um, so yeah, this is all to say that making sure you're getting enough healthy protein in the diet uh, is, is very, very important. And um, a good rule of thumb, if you're trying to build muscle is to be in the ballpark of one gram per pound of lean body mass or body mass as a total. So if you're a 200 pound man and you're at 20% body fat, maybe you're between 160 and 200 grams per day of, uh, of protein, right? Along with all your other essential nutrients. Um, I also think copper is very important. Uh, most people don't get enough copper in their diet. And uh, because X39 and X49 depend on copper, I think it's very important for people to supplement like 2.5 milligrams of copper glycinate per day, I think is very important. Uh, beta alanine, uh, if someone's using X49, um, and especially if they were a vegetarian, supplementing with beta alanine is important. Um, it's very inexpensive and, uh, 500 milligrams to a gram per day. You can just add that, you know, to a drink in the morning and, and you're kind of good to go. Um, so every person is going to have their own circumstances based on age and diet. And of course we've done presentations that goes into great detail about this. Well, fantastic. Uh, we're, it's hard to believe, but we're almost out of time. So we just have yeah. <laughs> a few more questions and they have been flying. And a lot of them, you know, a lot of them have to do with you in your, the beginning of your presentation, you talked about specifically X39, X49 and uh, absolutely the connection and, and, and using these in combination with the sprays. Are there any other patches in particular that you feel have some synergies um, or that you, you'd say, yeah, I recommend these in combination with the Shine and Dreams uh, aromatherapy mist. Yeah, so you could make a case for glutathione or Eon. And I would lean a little bit more towards Eon, but both are great. So in, in, the, in the literature, one of the things that you see is that when stem cells go to an area in the body where they're going to uh, create new tissue, heal, something that's been damaged, uh, they're attracted to inflammatory cytokines. And when people, this is very important because when people have had an injury for a long time and it's not healing, it's because the inflammation is killing the stem cells. So we wanna get the inflammation under control. So Eon does a great job with that. Uh, you can, of course, include things in your diet like olive oil, uh, macadamia nuts, macadamia oil. Those are going to be very rich in monounsaturated fats, and that helps to reduce inflammation. Um, there are herbs like curcumin, which are very broad spectrum anti-inflammatories. So using these types of things with the Eon patch is uh, going to help to manage the inflammatory process and allow X39 and X49 and the sprays to work that much better. So 
yeah, as we age, we we absolutely need to have a strategy for controlling inflammation. Good. Okay. And then finally here, so I, have uh, with, uh, you know, Garrett uh, was just telling me before this call, he's already hearing, we had some of our senior presidential directors, some of the, you know, the top ranking uh, business builders in our company who, who have been testing or using these since convention, you talked about that a little bit and then handed out some more in, in Costa Rica, but he's been getting really good stories and testimonials from a lot of those individuals. So uh, what about you? Have you been, have you heard anything from uh, people who have been using these, any success stories, any, any positive things uh, thus far? I've gotten complaints. Oh, I've, I've gotten complaints. Uh, I've gotten two complaints. I've gotten complaints from women and complaints from men. And uh, the complaints that I've gotten from women is that they're wait when they use the sprays, they're waking up in the middle of the night horny and wanting to have sex with their partner. So, so they didn't like the disturbed sleep, but apparently the, the men did. But the men's complaint was that uh, the women ran out of the sprays and they couldn't get any more. Uh, so of course, we've, we've solved that second problem, but I'm, I'm afraid the first problem is here to stay. So, <laughs> <laughs> Well, there it is. Well, yeah. this, has been, this has been fantastic. Uh, so, mu so much good information. Just as a reminder for anybody who attended virtual con virtual convention? Um, there was a, a commitment made around a promotion: buy one get one free for just those who attended virtual convention. That can be redeemed through the call center. Um, that question had come up. The products, of course, are now available, as you mentioned, David, in the U.S. and Europe. Those are available uh, in both the single and the two pack um, now for sale. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we go out and go out and get them, uh, test them, and then and then I think. Nice to be real. when I say we'd love to hear the feedback, you know, send in the stories, the success stories and the testimonials. Well, any final uh, any final or departing words for us here on this call, David? Yeah. You know, again, Jeff, I think, uh, you know, first of all, thank you very much. This has been great. Always love doing these with you and uh, just want to wish everyone a uh, safe and healthy, happy end in the new year with their family. There's so much craziness uh, that's going on in, in the world today. And, you know, we think about how should we respond to this? It's so easy to get angry over what politicians do, the war in the Ukraine, all the threats that are being made, things over in China, right? Um, it's very easy to become sad and to become angry. And our response in the world should be one of love and giving thanks and appreciation to our creator that we have everything that we do. And, you know, to me, these things that go on in the world are of a, uh, you know, not so good origin. And the best thing that we can do is use love as a weapon. Meaning that when we respond with love, when we give back, when we offer healing, when we offer light to the world, when we donate to those in need, we are pushing back against the forces of darkness. And not only does this make us feel good, uh, but it's the most constructive thing that we can do to make the world a better place. So this is all to say there's always hope and we can be a part of making a change and making a real difference in the world. And I'm very grateful that we have this company as a vehicle to do that. Well, thank you. And Dave, we feel very uh, lucky and blessed to have you and, and your talents and you know these amazing new products and, and just such a fabulous leader who has such a good heart. So thank you so much. Uh, thank you, everybody. We appreciate it and uh, we'll see you soon. Thank you, Jeff. All right, bye.